Hercules has been the workhorse of the American military for over half a century. Originally designed as a troop, cargo, and medical transport, the Defense Department plans on adding one more job description, rescue plane. 1980, in response to the 52 hostages taken in Iran, the U.S. government embarks on a top secret mission. Code name, Credible Sport. As the situation in Iran intensifies, engineers rush to transform the 80-ton C-130 into a nimble aircraft capable of landing inside of a 350-foot Iranian soccer stadium. As it's currently designed, the C-130 needs 1,400 feet of landing space and 1,800 feet to take off. In order to shorten the distance, engineers retrofit the plane with rockets. These rockets slow the plane as it lands and provide extra propulsion upon takeoff. It has only taken a few weeks for the C-130 to be redesigned and rebuilt. As the top secret mission approaches, pilots work diligently to master the complex, newly implemented features. But in October of 1980, just days before the surgical extraction is set to take place, Operation Credible Sport is derailed. In October of 1980, the U.S. Defense Department embarks on a top-secret mission to rescue 52 American hostages being held in Iran. Daring rescue requires the team of engineers to transform the 80-ton C-130 airplane into a craft so agile it could land inside an Iranian soccer stadium. Within weeks, the Hercules is modified and ready to go. Just as the plane is making its final test run, the mission is dealt a fatal blow. As the plane comes in for a landing, pilots mistakenly fire the rockets before the wheels touch down. The plane loses lift and slams into the tarmac. Despite the violence of this mishap, no crew members were injured. This setback not only derails the project, but shatters the hopes of everyone involved in the Credible Sport mission. It was not until the next year that the hostages were finally released.